I'll be king of the pirates. I'm gonna be king. What's up, you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here. We are back with another Grandista unboxing slash review for Sanji Vince Smoke from One Piece. If you guys haven't seen One Piece, if you haven't read One Piece, honestly, I don't know what you're doing. I know that the series is super, super long, but trust me, it is worth it. I read all of it from August of last year, 2020, to December, and I caught up, and I gotta say, it is a fantastic series. And this right here is Sanji, one of the more prominent characters, basically kind of like one of the top three characters in One Piece in terms of strength on the Straw Hat crew, because there's Luffy, Zoro, and then there's Sanji. I don't, I'm not gonna put Zoro and Sanji in competition, because they're always in competition either way. But nevertheless, this is Sanji right here, the cook of the Straw Hat crew. And I gotta say, right here, while my boy is the most simpish character in anime, I gotta say he is the most chivalrous character. But right here is the manga Dimensions Grandista version of it. Usually, when it comes to Grandistas, there's a regular version, then there's the manga Dimensions version. Me, I collect the manga Dimensions version only because, well, I'm more connected to the manga than I am the anime of One Piece. So I thought I might as well just get the manga Dimensions version because it's the exact same figure. But to me, it has a little more detail with the manga shading on it. So I gotta say, that these figures are fantastic. Usually, they go for double the price of a regular. The Grandisa, which comes out to about thirty to forty dollars, if you go to for retail prices. But manga dimensions versions usually range from about sixty to seventy dollars. But I got this bad boy off of Amazon for about. $50 shipped, so I gotta say, I did come out with a steal. It was the last one in stock at the time when I did buy this, but I believe they're back in stock, so this bad boy does, like I said, retail for like $60 to $70. I seen them in stores, I seen them online, and I knew I wanted to get it, but I didn't want to pay that much, so go ahead, check out Amazon, or just check out some anime shops or anime stores online that you could buy figures off of, or Yukio Como. Hopefully, I'll put a link in the description down below. I'm not an affiliate or sponsor, but if you guys do want the figure, I'll probably leave a link in the description down below if Editor Taste reminds me to, but before we get into the unboxing, before we get into the review of this figure, I gotta say shout out to my Patreon pledges for going ahead and financially supporting the channel. I gotta say you guys are really helping your boy Dark Sage out, especially holding it down over there on Patreon. So I gotta say you guys deserve the biggest Dark Sage hug I give you. Secondly, I gotta give a shout out to Broke Boy Gang, aka Notification Squad, for looking looking at the notification. Y'all y'all see that I come up. Y'all click it, and then y'all see this beautiful video right here. So like I said, I highly appreciate Broke Boy Gang. And if you aren't a part of Broke Boy Gang yet, or if you aren't a part of the channel members yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the post notification bell. I also need everybody to like the video. Please, please like the video. It really does help your boy out. And it's free support for your boy. And share the content. That's also free support for your boy as well. In fact, share this with, you know, the waifu or the husbando. That way they know that you really want this figure and they can see this dope review of why you want this figure. And lastly, if you haven't already, go ahead, follow me on all my other social media accounts, including my Teespring link, Patreon, and my Instagram and Twitch are all in the description down below. Go ahead. All my links will be down there. So... Let's go ahead and get into it. I've been waiting to open this bad boy up. But before I open this bad boy up, I got to show you all sides of the box. Obviously, this is produced by Baron Presto. This is the sticker of authentication. <laughs> authentication. Damn, that's a long word. But this is the sticker of authentication showing you that, you know, it's a toy Funimation product or whatever. And right here, we got one side of the box right here with that boy Sanji. Profile looking nice. We got the back of the box. And as you can see right here, you can see some of the shading details already. And you can see that he comes with the cigarette, which is super dope as well. And here's all the box right here. Here's another side of the box right here which looks pretty dope here's the bottom of the box in case you need to see that and i already showed you but here's the top of the box i already cut the tape off because usually these figures do come taped at the flap so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up right now and see how this figure is i hope you guys this day is doing all right just like mine <laughs> it's way better when i get to shoot videos and show you guys some awesome figures but right here we got the figure right here i probably gotta cut this tape on the side but i'll go ahead and fast forward that bad boy right now All right, so after cutting all sides of the tape right here, let's go ahead and take him out the box. The box side is really hitting this bad boy right now, but right here, we got we took the first insert off, or the plastic insert, and right here, we got the second one. Now we get to see the figure in his all so gloriousness. This figure right here looks super, super dope. Very, very thin. He feels very light, only because he's so skinny. He doesn't have a lot of accessories, like the Zoro I have that I already unboxed on the channel as well, which hopefully I'll put a link in the description down below, or you can check out the One Piece uh, playlist where I have all types of One Piece content, including the manga and figures. Right here is Sanji right here. Definitely do like the Dimensions, uh, manga Dimensions version, because any way you put him, it looks like he's shaded in the manga. So the shading just looks on point everywhere or any position that you actually put them in which is super dope now this also does come 
with a figure stand. And I believe this is supposed to have a cigarette too. Yeah, the cigarette. Look how small the cigarette is. I like the little detail of it already being burnt, like the ash from him smoking from it. Then we got the stand usually with Ban Prestos. I mean, well, he says, even though this is a Ban Presto too, but he does not balance on his own. No, he does not balance on his own. But right here, we got this. We're going to cut this open real, real quick. All right, so after cutting it open, I got the cigarette out. And oh my gosh, the cigarette is so, so tiny. Look, it barely wants to even focus on this bad boy. I understand because this cigarette is super tiny. And right here, we got the little stand, the foot stand for Sanji right here, which goes on his uh, left foot. If you're looking at him anatomically right here, it goes on his left foot right here, which is going to be easy to put on just like that. You just snap it on. Easy. Now, the cigarette on the other hand. I don't know about that one. I'm assuming just because of how a cigarette is smoked, technically, you're gonna put it in like this. That's what I'm hoping. But this is this is difficult. This is this is actually difficult. Okay, yeah, you put it in like this. <laughs> this was a little difficult. I like the fact that the hands right here are like super close together. That way you can fit the cigarette in there. And I'm pretty sure once you take the cigarette out the hands will kind of come back well this finger right here these two fingers the middle finger and the index finger will kind of come close snap kind of back together right here but right here is the figure in his full glory right here that's it this bad boy is super dope with him having his hands uh in his pocket right here him looking smug as usual and this, ugh, the manga shading on this bad boy is phenomenal especially with the little blue uh shadowing and then the black shadowing right here this is really, really dope. It looks like it's straight out the comic right here. It looks like a color scan online. I don't, I don't read scans, guys. I read the official, of course. I read the official because I like to support. But <laughs> this definitely does look super dope. Now it's time to get some great shots of this figure right here. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on this figure right here as well. The story goes, we find out by the treasure in the grand line, there's no doubt. The pirate whose eye is on it, he'll sing, I'll be king of the pirates, I'm gonna be king. His name is Luffy. That's Monkey D. Luffy. Gonna be king of the pirates. He's made a rubble. How did that happen? Yo ho ho, he took a bite of gum gum. His name's Zolo, he's just like a samurai and a L-A-D-Y, Nami's not shy. All right, guys, so now it's time for me to give you my final thoughts on this Sanji Manga Dimensions Grand Diesel right here. I gotta say, for the price that I paid for it, it is worth it. I did pay, like I said, around $50 shipped off of Amazon. So if you guys wanna check out the Amazon prices or if you wanna shop around, I advise you to the $70 to $80 price range for this bad boy. Honestly, I don't think it's really worth it for Grand Diesel. I mean, I want the Luffy one and it's retailing. Well, not retailing, but on a secondary market for $120, but that's what happens with collectibles once they sell out and they don't produce them anymore you're gonna have to buy it off the secondary market so 124 a secondary market luffy cool but sanji while he's just now kind of newer in a grandista manga dimensions form uh pay just 40 to 30 dollars for it honestly guys if you can try and find it on the deal as best as you can guys like i said i'll try and link some sites down in the description down below so you can check out where to buy this bad boy but this bad boy does come out to about almost 11 inches that's right guys almost 11 inches pause now this figure is pretty big this figure is pretty tall not too wide obviously but i do gotta say that i really really do like this figure though i really do like the shine the little manga shadowing that he has on his hair right here i like to even i like i I even like the little details that they put in his shoe right here, which I think is super dope. His pants being a whole bunch of different colors just from the shadowing and the shading and all that. That's, like, that's super dope. The only gripe that I kind of have with it is that I wish that there was literally a piece where it was specifically for like the cigarette. That way you could place it right there. But I mean, this holds it perfectly. Just be weird that this piece is pretty, pretty small. So if you drop it in the carpet, you might lose this bad boy forever. And I do like the expression on Sanji's face. Uh, I kind of wish he would have came with like a second head swap where he has like the hard eyes, like when he's looking at a girl like Nami or Nico Robin or anything like that. That would have been pretty funny. That would have been pretty dope too as well. But guys, that's about it for the review. Let me know what you think about the Sanji figure right here. I do have this figure. I do have a Zoro figure as well that's manga shaded. And if you haven't seen my haul where I got this figure in, I also have an a style will be reviewing on the channel as well but guys that's about it for the review let me know what you guys think about sanji let me know what you think about one piece let me know what you think about the review let me know what you think about grandistas the out of band presto lines grandista is my favorite because obviously they don't have that big old black bulky base like band prestos do that's just so obnoxious but honestly the grandistas for the size for the detailing i gotta say these figures i definitely do recommend if you are into figures but guys that's about it for the review if you haven't already go ahead hit the subscribe button hit the post notification bell like the video and i gotta say thank you guys for watching dark Sage out peace here's how the story goes we find out by the treasure in the grand line there's no doubt the pirate whose eye is on it he'll sing i'll be king of the pirates i'm gonna be king I know, I know, I know, I know.
His name is Luffy. That's Monkey D. Luffy. King of the Pirates. He's made a rubber. How did that happen?